A record 2,370 prisoners is pushing corrections to breaking point, according to the Commissioner. It's a busy and challenging time for corrections. We know that. Um, we know that the criminal justice system in its entirety is under pressure. With more than 150 inmates in police watch houses across Darwin, Palmerston, Catherine and Alice Springs, new emergency measures have been declared to relieve the pressure. Among them, female prisoners are being flown from Alice Springs to Darwin to make way for 40 male prisoners. And if I need to keep moving prisoners around the Territory to rationalise across different sites, we'll do that. The prison and watch house in Darwin will also receive extra prisoners to relieve pressure on watch houses elsewhere. Correction says it's employing more staff than ever before, but the union estimates there's still 170 guards short. Officers are so concerned that riots could happen and the corrections have no contingencies put in place for any large-scale riot or incident. They're advising guards who don't feel safe not to come to work. You are safe. I've said clearly to my staff when I've written to them every time this week and again yesterday and I'll write to them again today, our safety and our safety in the operations and your safety is the number one priority. The Commissioner says he's also working to alleviate concerns about conditions inside. I was in the prison today when I saw the crowding of prisoners, people lying on the floor, a prisoner's yelling out to me going, oh, they're putting more people in here, it's too hot, don't let them put more people in here. I, I just can't imagine how, how it must have an impact on ladies um, and the anxiety that they're feeling right now knowing that they're going to be relocated 1,500 kilometres away from their families. Police watch houses are routinely used to house inmates in the Northern Territory, with prisons operating above capacity for some time. The union says the government's treated corrections as an afterthought by rushing through changes to bail and mandatory sentencing laws. But the minister's blamed the previous government and says he's finalised a three-step plan for long-term infrastructure, rehabilitation and immediate relief. The Commissioner says the measures are temporary until that relief has arrived. Lillian Rengia, ABC News.